down on the sun-dappled floor of the ancient Kanto forests, life is a constant, energetic scramble for resources. Here we find the young Paris. An industrious burrower, it spends its waking hours vigorously gnawing on tree roots to fuel its small body. But it does not eat alone. On its back, it carries two small hitchhikers, toadstools, known as tochukaso. In these early days, it appears to be a benign arrangement, a partnership. But as the seasons turn, the balance of this relationship begins to shift tragically. The host insect grows, but the fungi grow faster, becoming ravenous, leaching nutrients from the Paris' body faster than it can replenish them. Its vibrant energy fades, its movements become sluggish. It is no longer driven by its own survival instinct, but by a new alien imperative gnawing at its spine. Driven away from the sunlight and into the cold, damp darkness of deep caves, the final transformation is revealed. Behold the Parasect, the massive fungal cap now dominates the creature's silhouette, but the true horror lies in the eyes. The insect host is effectively dead. Its central nervous system has been completely hijacked by the fungus. The body is now merely a puppet, a vehicle driven here for one final purpose to scatter toxic spores into the dark and ensure the grim cycle begins anew.